What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! March has arrived. FTC is always a vibe. Yudi, why? Will disabled millionaire steal his girl? Let's check it out. Right here. Here we go. Now, what do they mean by this? Ready for this? Oh, the cameras already rolling and everything. This is the homie Kai. He wants to find out if his girlfriend Kai. is truly loyal to him or not. So today we're placing her to the test. Hopefully she passes. I, you know, you never know though. In this yeah. industry though, you know, anybody could fold at any time. You can never put too much trust in somebody. Kai and his girlfriend both work in the music industry. They both nice. make music, but his girlfriend also does some modeling. We decided to use that to get her to this multi-million dollar oh, home in Hollywood model? Hills. He was going to be arriving here in about an hour. Shit. I ain't even trying to be the one, bro. But, bro, just good luck with your stress levels, bro, if you dating a model in L.A. This is in L.A., right? <sighs> Any model that is in, like, L.A., Miami, New York, any of the brothers out there, man, good luck. Because them stress levels is going to be all the way up every single other day. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to sit up here. I'm not going to be an asshole and give a red flag. The first 30 seconds of the video, but that's something that'll keep me up a couple of hours of the night, maybe four or five hours of the night. I don't know. That's just me personally. I I could never date a like a, a straight up like actual like certified license. I mean, you don't gotta be a licensed model, right? Or I don't know how that goes, but you know what she I mean. An actual model, especially in the music industry. In no, that's all she's coming here so that Isaiah could test her loyalty. With Kai's help, we had our decoy Isaiah contact her earlier that week for a modeling gig. After learning all the details, she eventually agreed to show up. Do you think your girlfriend is gonna bust a Bobby Altov <laughs> and trade you for the money, riches, and fame? But you never know, you gotta have a little doubt in you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> gotta be in your P's and Q's, that's facts. Here we go. Hello. Hey, what's up, Kira? This is Isaiah. Hey, I was just calling to see if you're on time for the modeling shoot. Of course, definitely. I'm on my way. I'm definitely going to be there. Traffic's cool. Nothing's going crazy. Oh, uh, you know what? I just noticed like, what I said in the beginning of the video when I was talking about, okay, so like this person probably has like a broken foot or something. That's oh, why they put this out. So I thought Sounds they were just trying good. to click I'm excited to meet you. Nah, I'm not going to, bro. This is going to be all types of down bad, bro. If she folds with somebody that is like, you feel all me? Right, uh, see you soon. You know, messed up. I don't like the. You'll, you'll probably hear me like catch myself both sides of the video, but I don't like using like the word disabled and stuff. Like even like with like other words and stuff, I like learning to just take it out of my vocabulary as I get older and more. You know, what I'm saying obviously with more mature and stuff. Um, y'all just say like. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be rooting for him. <laughs> she sounded a little excited. I don't know. Oh, okay. But uh, she probably just decided she got the job going. That's all, True. you know. Yeah, okay, we are paying a lot. She believes that she's getting paid $500 to come out of our Isaiah's clothing play. line. Well, fake clothing line. In reality, we just got these shirts from Amazon. She doesn't nah, know that though, and that's all that matters. Work. We just that's needed to get work. her here so that Isaiah could ask her on a date. <laughs> Not only does she have to turn down somebody who has money, she has to turn down a hurt dog, you know? As Kira will be watching when Isaiah makes his move, D will be upstairs watching and listening in thanks to our live feed and our fancy new controllable cameras. How cool is this? Fancy new controllable cameras? Oh, now you need wild brand new equipment 2024, bro. So with that, we were now ready for phase one of our tests. All that was left to do was wait for Kira to arrive. There's a lot of waiting in these things. Would you mind explaining to the cameras why exactly you wanted to put your girl to the test? I just wanted to see, to be honest with you, like, all right, are you going to fold under pressure, somebody flashing money in front of your face? Like, it's kind of like, are you going to sell out, sell your soul kind of thing? So I feel it. I just want to see how she's going to do under pressure. I've come to notice a grim reality. Almost everyone nowadays is trying to get into the entertainment industry, and some people will do whatever they got to do to get ahead, even if that means cheating on their partner. It's sad, but that's what happens when you're surrounded by a culture of superficiality, materialism, and the relentless pursuit of wealth and fame. Hopefully, Kira can prove that she isn't like that, though. Oh, he got the fireplace going. <laughs> he uh, he's, he's, fireplace he's, going. he set the mood right. OK, <laughs> all right, we're going to see. Hello. He's getting a call. Just come up to the big door that looks like a puzzle. Come through the gate and then I'll meet you at the door. I don't think that's it. Okay. These windows are tinted, but like, I don't know how tinted. And welcome to my humble abode. Hey, Hi. Isaiah. Hi, Kira. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Your eyes are beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're good. And now I just wait here for I mean, my cue to come in. Can't Feel really free say to too much. Set yourself down anywhere. 
Yeah. <laughs> Kira had arrived to Isaiah's supposed home. He capitalizes and shows it off a bit. My favorite part about the whole thing is this tree, though. During the spring, it sprouts its leaves. And then he shows her his clothing line, which consists of one basic, simple sprouts design. Sleeves. This is on purpose and will come in handy later. That is a nice trip, though. It's probably the... If a fish wanted to be a shark, who's telling it it can't actually be a shark? <laughs> yeah, my uh, whole brand. Yo, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. And it's called Everlasting Fantasy. Everlasting Fantasy. I know it's far fetched, but I kind of want to have like a, a fashion runway in Paris. Like, I'm trying to make it yeah, big. If I have the money, might as well do it. Thing, yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> right now, it's just the t shirts. That's super cool. You want to go sit down? That's great. We got her here. That's like probably the hardest step right there. So, where are you from? Sacramento. Before sending in Elias, we wanted to give Isaiah a chance to get to know Kira. The goal was to get comfortable with her and start flexing his money. Did you grow up here? Are you from here? No, I moved out here when I got the house. I'm originally from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Wisconsin's I worked crazy, in the factory bro. in Wisconsin. I am uh, from Wisconsin in my life. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to lift something up and then the whole thing came down on my leg. Wow. They put three screws in my ankle right here, and now I gotta roll around with this little thing. Hey, you know, but they like give me $8 million. Decoy oh. Yeah. End of the day, it's not that bad. I got money, I got a house. So this is your first place in California? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a little lonely though, sometimes. Sometimes I wish I had someone to share it with, but <laughs> your eyes, I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> they are. Yeah, I got my mom's eyes for sure. You mind if I'm not gonna lie to you? I wanted to be on her side, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to be on her side. She was giving off some very monotone, you know what I'm saying, takes with responses. She's having a general, generic, like, conversation, like, meeting a new person. It didn't sound like she's coming off flirtatious, but what she is doing that's causing this to be red flag number one, she's allowing him to flirt with them. This is the second time she, he said that uh, she thought that her eyes are beautiful. If somebody's in a relationship, right off the bat, like that second time, I wouldn't give you the benefit of the doubt the first time because she's just stepping into the crib, meeting somebody new. I understand it in a, maybe in, in a woman's shoes. Like, okay, you don't want to make it awkward as soon as you walk through the door and you're doing a whole modeling gig, you know what I'm saying, and getting some, you know, paid gig and stuff like that, um, you know, and you just don't want to make it awkward. It's not like he was trying to be touchy and stuff like that. She just, but at the same time, this is the second time, you know what I'm saying, um, he said something about her eyes. You know, if, 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 if you're talking about like the top tier Hall of Fame flirtatious words and lingo, complimenting anything about the eyes, your clothes, or you smelling good, your skin or something like that, those are all the Hall of Fame flirtatious signs. And those are the signs that she's supposed to be saying right off the bat, listen, I have a man you know what I'm saying? I'm not single. You know what I'm saying? This should have been the first thing she said. And this is all she's saying is that, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's so cute. This and that. Thank you so much. So I ain't going to lie. This ain't even sitting right with me. I'm going to have to give her a red flag. I wanted to not give her a red flag. She was kind of doing good so far. This is her cue right here to say that, hey, listen, like I have a man. I'm not single and everything like that. I appreciate you for giving me this opportunity. But can you tone down the flirting? She hasn't said nothing above those lines. I have to give her a red flag right here. I sit down. It's the, this oh, little thing is I mean, a little. Yeah, Are you close to the parents? Uh -oh. Isaiah takes a seat next to Kira. But I will say that is a good sign. Are you close to the parents? She is. Look, if you, if you peep, I peep body language. I will give credit. She does seem a little bit, maybe at this moment, a little bit uncomfortable. Or maybe she was trying to move out the way of this um, um, injury thingy that she uh, he, he's using to move around. Um, she is moving to the edge of the bed where it looks like she's damn near about to fall off the bed. That is a good sign, I will say, because if she was trying to be on some like, now I can't speak too fast. I don't know what happens at the end of the video or towards, you know what I'm saying, the end. But she is moving away, meaning that she doesn't want to give too much contact or give that benefit of the doubt where like, hey, like, I kind of want you to make the move type of it. She's, this is a good sign right here. I will give that a light green flag right next to Kira and continues making small talk. The two were honestly hitting it off, but we had to keep things moving along. Alrighty, photographer, go ahead and make this your entrance. This man fell asleep. Go ahead and make your entrance over. It's finally our time. Your nails are rushing. Really nice as well. Yeah. Any of the rings mean anything? No, I have a lot of rings. I'm just naked. If I don't have rings on, like, I forget to put them on. You can come in. Yes, my guy, oh, how's it going? It's going good. 
You know, I realized I knocked. I was like, wait, how is he going to get to the door? <laughs> Hello, Elias. This is Hi. nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's, How's it going, going there, bro? bro? You doing good? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The best I can. Yeah. Ready to shoot or? Um, She had a question about wardrobe. Yeah. So I have these leggings. Um, I also brought Yeah, can I see what you have? Elias pretends to be a good photographer and chooses out what pants Kira should wear. Isaiah then hands her the shirt that she'll be modeling and directs her on where to change. How did I sound? It's okay. Hey, bro, you kill <laughs> How does this look to you? Does it feel legit? Does it, it look legit? It look legit. <laughs> it's like, like, a, like a real photo shoot going. Yeah. Right. So this is a small. Um, it's probably about this size. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think it looks good. What do you think? Ooh, you think? that. Uh, no? I don't think that looks good at all. No. Yeah, do you I'm to... joking. You look beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you look amazing. Sure yes. No. Wouldn't want you to change a bit. <laughs> I'll just be uh, rolling around in here. It was Kira, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Set up like yeah, right there. Get the house in the background, you know. What you think it's so far? I think it's cool. I know she she taking his compliments, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, we ain't doing too much. Yeah. I'm not. Nah, bro. Come on, dog. You too deep into this damn relationship, bro. Like I was waiting for him to say that, like, bro. She hasn't even mentioned one time. She's been at this crib for almost half of an hour, bro. Two ninjas have pulled up to the crib. Now, they're not on no, like, trying to be aggressive flirtation shit, trying to bag her. But she hasn't mentioned one time that she's in a relationship, despite all the flirting that this man was doing. Hell nah, bro. To be honest, like, I hate even to be saying it, bro. But, like, the fact that she didn't admit that she had a boyfriend and say that she has a man after all those flirting stuff with the eyes. So he, said, so he said something about the nails and mentioned something with her jewelry on the rings. Nigga, that counts at least two and a half bodies right there, bro. Literally. All right with it. While Elias took some pretty nice photos outside, I want to go make sure that our decoy wasn't in too much pain. So, in case you guys are wondering, this right over here ah, is real. As you can see, he is in a ton of pain. Ah. Just kidding. Oh, Our decoy's pretending to, say. to have gotten hurt at work because this is how he got rich and he was able to afford this house. This is something I always wanted to do. And with nah, the that settlement- that is dead ass crazy. There'd be lucky ass, I mean, not lucky because let's say, you know, God forbid you get an injury that affects the way you move around in life. But like, if you get like some like injury, like at work where you just like break your foot or something like that, where obviously it's able like within due time to heal and your ass is like set and rich for life, bro. Yo, that's like lottery type of like the money. I finally get to do right it. That's Start crazy. my own clothing brand. But obviously you know, like sometimes I feel like the, a goldfish. And I wish I could be a shark, you know? We were worried because the boot only fits up to a size 12, but Isaiah's got a size 15. Honestly, it feels kind of comfortable. Like I would wear this just because. If you ever get seriously hurt or in an accident, your case could actually be worth millions. Unfortunately though, many people never file a claim or end up getting lowballed by insurance companies. Don't be one of those people. Be like Isaiah. I got hurt and I said, Run me my money, come on. <laughs> Yo, I hope you like you. Bro, they're asking if you better and better every video, in an accident, Morgan and Morgan will fight to get their clients the money they're right. so even past it. crash. Well, another victim in New York, 6.8 million. <clears throat> lawyers don't want to settle for anything less than what you're owed, and you shouldn't either. It only takes a few minutes to see if you have a case. You can be completely free unless you win. That's right, no one current costs. They only get paid if you get paid. You can start a claim with America's on slash you. Get back upstairs and right, continue this go. test. You want to see some of these? <coughs> I do. This is super cool. Oh my god. Yeah. You know what? I feel like we should have made Elias the decoy. She sounds really into him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Photographers do think they slick. Bro, that man was not smiling one bit when UDY said that, dog. Yo. Super cool. Oh Yo. my god. Yeah. You know what? I feel like we should have made Elias the decoy. She sounds really into him. I'm just kidding. I'm just nah, bro. Uni was wild for that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely reach out to him. Yeah. No, I feel you. Yeah. I think she just told him, oh my God, I love your hair. <laughs> One day we'll promote Elias to decoy, but for now he makes a great photographer. I mean that, the photos that this guy took actually came out really good. The only thing I will say though is why the hell did this man make her model in leggings? Not just any leggings though, I'm pretty sure these are the leggings that she literally walked in with. He didn't even make her change, they just gave her a shirt. I can only imagine what Kira was thinking. Like, damn, I brought other clothes and these guys make me wear what I came in? Luckily, she didn't get suspicious of anything and it all came off realistic. But still, next time Elias, try a little harder because you could cost us the freaking test. Oh, okay, I think Elias is bringing it back inside. What's up, what's up? What's up? Dude, she's killing it, man. She's I can't imagine. It. Wait a minute. Yeah, you get the so. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. She looks more beautiful than when she came in. That's crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? They have a compliment. Flirt was so off with her, bro. And she still ain't mentioned that she ain't single. 
I'm about to give a second red flag, bro. Just because of that. We're going to be fair. We're going to keep it at one red flag so far, bro. Even had Elias blushing. Let me just set up this light real quick, and then, uh, yeah, we'll shoot in here real quick. How long have you been modeling, by the way? So if she passes this test, do you plan on going downstairs and telling her that it was a test, or do you plan on not telling her at all? Honestly, if she being loyal and upfront and, and staying true, then I, I should be true, too. Okay. You know? So. Okay. Cool. All right, so I'm thinking maybe, like, I'll just get you on the couch. And so with that, Elias begins the second half of this photo shoot. And once again, he does an incredible job with the photos. Cool. Um, let's get you on that chair. This one, like, just imagine you're like a boss. You're just about to fire all your employees right now. And you don't give a f <laughs> what? Actually, she had those leggings outside, right? Yeah, you wanted to switch? You think it'd be crazy yeah, if we switched? Yeah, no, yeah, let's do it, yeah. Isaiah wanted a different look, so he asked for an outfit change. Elias chose out another set of bottoms, which were also black, and Isaiah, for some reason, gave her a larger shirt. Damn, he gave her a men's large. It's about to be a dress on it. <laughs> Not much of a different look, if you ask me, but that's okay. You see, this outfit change was simply a diversion. Okay, all right, bro. Yeah, I gotta go to my car. <laughs> Appreciate it. It was time for Elias to exit the scene. Under the guise that he ran out of space on his memory card and had to get one from his car. You did a good job, sir. Thank you, thank you. I told Dee that it really sounded like she was into you. So we were thinking about making you the decoy instead. I, mean, uh, I could have slid her. She won't flirt. She better not have been flirting out here. <laughs> I mean, I could have glassed her a number later if you really wanted oh, me to. Oh, relax, relax, relax. I could schedule another photo shoot. <laughs> Elias nigga is a savage. Bro, he's literally secretly and quietly saying to this man's girl that like, bro, I'm interested in your girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to raise her up. Fuck this damn video, bro. And you ain't even doing nothing, bro. Personally, this is not going to be me, bro. Yo, that man having way too much fun, bro. All right, Yo. Now. I'm going to be there too, though. <laughs> right with you. <laughs> with the last now nah, out of the bro, scene, they this was it. As soon as was out of the restroom, Isaiah was pretty much free to make his move. Yeah, you look beautiful. Um, the <laughs> photographer, he left something in his car. Yeah, uh, he said he forgot like an SD card or something like that. We can just hang out until he gets back. Thank you. All right, here we go. Gotta listen in, okay? So you said you've been modeling for two years? Is modeling like what you like wanna like pursue for a long time career or is it just something you're doing right now? I would love to have this as a career for as long as Possible. Yeah. Yeah. Have you? My bad. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess. I guess like at some point in time, I'd love to like have some kind of career where I can, like help people. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really like I'm a big animal person. That's amazing. Yeah. Not only is she beautiful, but she's for the people <laughs> and the animals. This is crazy. <laughs> animals. Yeah. 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 Let's go for the animals. You better stop Honestly, I'm just, back in that boot. I'm open and not knowing what I want my destiny to be. Yeah. I want to travel and I want to see what problems there are around and see what I can do. I grew up not having money. Yeah. And now that I have money, I feel like I can do something with it, you know? That's really cool. Yeah. yeah I love that. I think that's like humble. I like respect that. Mm -hmm. So have you worked with like any bigger brands that I don't know, like Fashion Nova or Sheen or anything like that? <laughs> Oh, I, I work a lot oh, they censored the brand. Smart UDY. Like, no free promo for them. <laughs> 100%. Remember how I said there was a reason why Isaiah's clothing line designs were so simple? Well, that's because he needs someone else on his team who truly understands fashion, and he's going to be using that to make his move. You ever think about, like, doing stuff behind the scenes of modeling, like modeling, but, like, business side of it, or...? Like, be, <laughs> like, what do you mean, like, like be, I don't know, but like more hands on just because I'm doing it all by myself. I only have so much imagination and I do want to expand. I want to get into women's clothing. I want to do more fashion and I would, one, love to pick your brain and two, you are absolutely gorgeous. So like if you were my, the face of my brand, I feel like it would help a lot. If, if you're down with yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's like, that sounds like an incredible opportunity. Um, would it be like, 
Like primarily like modeling the clothing or? So it would be modeling the clothing, but yeah. it would be past that as well. So like um, helping with the creative design of the clothing, speaking out for the clothing, maybe helping me with the social media, just to target more of the women audience. I mean, I want to be honest with you. Like I don't, like I've never really done like that side of things before. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, that would definitely be like a new like learning experience mm -hmm. for me. I'm learning right now too, so we just learn together. If you want, we can talk more about it over dinner. Yeah, yeah that's that sounds incredible. I would, yeah, I'd love to. Is a seven tonight work? Oh, um, yeah. Actually, I yeah, I'm 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 free. Awesome. Damn! 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 Nigga! Oh yeah, this heart. His heart is at his throat right now. His heart is right here, nigga. Pause. Bro, I was just about to get... This is why I don't be trying to talk too soon, bro. I was just about to give her credit. Like, the way she sounded, like, with the responses in the conversation, she's coming off very, like, you know what I'm saying, blunt and and, and, and very short-answered. And I would have seen that silly and comfortable because I don't want him to, you know what I'm saying, to make Buddy look like he's some creep or nothing like that because he's, he's, he's just asking just general, generic questions. But, you know what I'm saying, that was really, like, her body language and her energy, bro. You didn't even mention one time that you had a man. And you free at the last second, bruh? For dinner at the same day after the shoot? Nigga, fuck giving two written bro, bro, this is two flags, bro. Three flags, bro. Failed. Failed, 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 failed. Just from her responding like that, bro, that's literally five bodies. The relationship is over with. There's nothing else we need to talk about. Nothing else we need to talk about. Because I guarantee she's definitely that type to just be like, oh, even if I'm going to, like, mention that I have a man, even if she don't even mention that, fuck that. She can just be at the last second talking to her own, own actual boyfriend and just be like, oh, look, I have a last second dinner with some friends or with the photographer, bro. That's still a red flag. Last second you having dinner with the photographer on the same day? Bro, if this man is staying in a relationship after this, bro, there's no sympathy that you have for him, bro. That's just an ultra simp. I need to hear him within the next 30 seconds say that this relationship is done. There's nothing else needing to explain everything. It's so crazy. She has so much potential too, bro. She don't even seem like she that, like just, just hearing her talk and even like the way she dressed her. You definitely got to judge the way sometimes a woman dresses. You know what I'm saying? She's dressing very like conservative. You know what I'm saying? Especially for an LA woman. Just straight, you know what I'm saying? Like natural leggings on. She got some retros on. You feel me? And she got like a long enough shirt. You know what I'm saying? That's something you got to judge too. Like if a girl has like a short shirt where she kind of wants to like show her ass a lot more in them leggings. You feel me? Like she has like a hoodie on, a long t-shirt. She, she don't even really, man, bro. That's crazy. I'm very, this is probably one of the more disappointing UDY ones I've seen, dog. Okay. Yeah, Look at this man. Oh, no. Nah, he's, bro, he shook, bro. I feel you, brother. Just in that relationship, bro. Hit your homies up, man. Go up to a club in LA, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get a section for the night. You'll be good. Good. I'll probably be like hungry after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. They laughing, talking about how hungry they are and stuff. Nah, man. That ain't it, bro. Like, if I was in this man's shoes, bro, I'm throwing them headphones to the side and I'm storming downstairs right this second, dog. Nah, man. That ain't it, man. Kira has agreed to dinner, but I wouldn't call this the end of the road. Isaiah did- What you mean? What you mean you wouldn't call it the end of the road, bruh? This man can't even walk. He got one leg right now, bruh. This man just rizzed up his girl in less than an hour, has a dinner date the same day. They sit up there flirting. He's, he's complimented her eyes like three or four times. Like, man, nah, the relationship is over with, dog. There ain't nothing else to need to explain. This entire situation and scenario, bro, is five or six bodies. Let alone, there's no coming back from this. I mean, at most, we could be like fuck buddies or something, but we ain't be in no relationship, bro. Me and you are not going to be boyfriend and girlfriend after this, dog. Hell nah, bro. There's nothing else needing to be said. Everything else is done. The phrase this is more of a business opportunity, which does give us a path for a phase two. We can have them go to dinner, and then Isaiah could make his official move there. Of nah, course, bro, at this point, Isaiah gotta want to see his girl get clapped or something, bro. Because what else do you need to expl get explained, bro? Yo. Only if Kai wants to keep this going. I want to say that C-U-C-K, where is it? Is it? Is it what, what are they call A cuck? I don't know if that shit's demonetized, bro. At this point, bro, do you want to just watch your girlfriend get smashed, bro? Like, man. We can talk about you it. You two don't maybe demonetize can me. Get some drinks. Hang out, get to know each other a little more. What's your favorite drink? Um, <laughs> I like whiskey. 
Oh, a whiskey girl. You don't have drinks too on the first date? On the first day after the shoot? Bro. Never does me wrong. Yeah. Well, let's do a let's do a warm vibe. Let's do vibe. let's do we can go out, we can get some whiskey. Yeah. Um I know a really cool spot. Or we can just come back, kick it here. I got connect four. Um you know, just <laughs> get to know each four. other a little bit. Maybe just stick with um, dinner. Yeah, nah, she playing her cards right. She don't want to make too many plans at the last second. That's all it is. It's not like she's not feeling them. She just playing her cards right. She knows in the back of her head that she has a man. You know what I'm saying? And she don't want to get too many plans done just in case, like, oh, like, her man hits him up. Or she just, she wants to be able to be put in a position where she can kind of sneak off and be able to call him or text him and shit like that. Like, there's nothing going on. Oh, no, no, no. Don't even be alert. Don't be alarmed by that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because if that's the case, why is she mentioned that she is not single? We almost 20 minutes in the video. And mind you, this is like the edited version of their entire filming thing. He probably was out here for like two or three hours. So I'm going to stay on the safe side. They was probably there for like an hour and she still hasn't mentioned that she is a single, bro. What else does there need to be like proven? You don't like drinking? I just feel like, um, I guess I, f I feel like getting drinks and like going out after that is just kind of a different vibe. Now, is it a different vibe because you just realized that you have to figure out how to sneak around and cheat on your man? Is that is that really the reason or is it really different because you feel like it's different? What's what what is it? Uh question 1 or 2, y'all. If y'all ain't picking the first thing I said, you're lost. And that is the the did I, did I say the part where I was like, oh, um, where, 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 where she doesn't want to like feel like she's sneaking around? That's the answer. Hey, I had many uh, short time mean, memory loss. I mean, it's like <laughs> withdrawals from the tree. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like um, it just—it's—it feels like the intention of that is like more of like a hookup oh, versus what? like. <laughs> Friendship, business partner. Nah, 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 bro. Nah, bro. She's weighing her options out, bro. She that 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 guilty conscience, bro. I know you're not making this face like you're shocked like this is a good thing. Okay. No, man, you is sick! Nah, bro! Nah, bro, fuck that, bro. Even if she was on some tip talking about business partner, bro, hell nah, bro. The relationship is done. Because if you think, bro, nah, bro. If you if a woman talking about some business partner and you comfortable being a business partner except in a date like that, hell nah, bro. It's still a red flag, bro. That ain't no business partner. The fact that you said yes to drinks and dinner the same day. Nah, bro. Come on, man. Don't get caught into that, man. Don't fall into that trap, bro. I don't. I don't see it like that. I feel like we can go out, we can have some drinks, we can have a little bit of fun, get to know each other, and we don't have to necessarily hook up, because we're just doing it as friends, right? Yeah, I mean... Just to get to know each other. Yeah, I just, um... Like, I, I have a... I, I do have a boyfriend. Nah, nah, nah. The stuttering is crazy. She stuttered three times. It took you almost 20 minutes in the video for you to finally say you had a boyfriend. Fellas, please be careful out there, man. This is not it. This isn't it at all, bro. This isn't it at all, bro. This, nah, nah. And to be honest with you, I'm really honestly considering the fact that what if, obviously, um, Isaiah is playing the decoy as an injured, you know what I'm saying, person. Do you think that she would have had that, like, second guess thought? I think not even, she didn't even honestly just have the guilty conscience that she just realized that, oh, hey, like, I have a relationship. I shouldn't be, like, going on dates with just, you know what I'm saying, a guy that I just met today. I think that she just realized that Buddy is injured, you know what I'm saying, and he's not going to be able to be too mobile like that. And she's also in the back of her head thinking, like, and I'm not, I'm just being transparent with y'all. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, we, we're all mature here, right? She's probably also thinking, like, does this stuff, like, work? You feel me? Like, because she doesn't know how, like, injured or how potentially, like, you know what I'm saying, disabled he is. You feel me? So, like, she's probably, like, weighing her cards, like, is he able to, like, perform in bed type shit because he's injured? Is that having an effect? So, I honestly think that was her conscience that was circling in the back of her head. Let him be able to, like, stand up perfectly and not be injured at all. Would she would have had that similar response? Yes or no? Out and like 
you go. She brought you up. That's me, you feel me? <laughs> Let's see. Bro, nah, bro. Man, love is blinding, man, sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be... And, and for all these, uh, you know, UDY uh, guests that do the loyalty test, I'm pretty sure it's obvious, but I'm never intending to, like... And I never had, like, anybody, like, try to confront me, by the way, in, like, the DMs or something, so that's not why I'm trying to say this. But, you know, I just want to also make the disclaimer, too. I'm never trying to, like, bash the person. I just want to help them, and I have a lot of passion for, you know, helping people with, like, relationship issues or just, like, past things that they could be going through or signs that they need to leave the relationship. I always want to just... You, everybody's witnessed me go through shit in the past, so I feel like it's selfish for me not to, you know, uh, if it's sit up here and gatekeep shit. But, bro, like, this isn't it, man. This isn't it, bro. Like, Dude, this is nothing to be to nodding it, off and dapping yeah, up. I personally don't think that there's anything wrong with it. Okay. I think we can, <laughs> I think we could just, it's just a couple of drinks as for like friends. Imagine, as, like, if you have a girlfriend, like, if she went and did, did that, yeah. you know. You want to know the truth? It wouldn't really matter that much. <laughs> But that's just me. Uh, we yeah, can go out. You know, I just want to, like, respect. Okay, yeah. Because I, I mean, I, you know, I like to keep things professional. Yeah. That's just, like, my... I just don't really see it as, like, a bad thing. Yeah, I think I would just rather stay dinner. Okay. She's trying to use oh. it for the meal? It was never a doubt. <laughs> I don't want to sound like an asshole. I'm trying my best not to. No, I, I would love to, like, talk business with you. I mean, it sounds like an awesome opportunity, and, you know, I'm... Even if she was on that tip, bro, ain't no way if I'm in a relationship, my girl gonna be comfortable going out on some coffee date or some grabbing. Hey, let's grab some lunch. Let's go. Let's go over to the motherfucking uh. Let's go get some soul food or something. Nah, bro. They man, I don't care about none of that, bro. Any relationship I in, girl, ain't allowed to have no guy best friends, no guy friends, no acquaintances of guys, no guys she's following on the gram, no liking guys' photos. You know what I'm saying? Just simple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, standards to have and hold yourself up as a king, bro. And if you, and if a girl can't respect those five commandments, literally right there, I accidentally freestyle five commandments right there. Leave the relationship or leave her as your fuck buddy or uh, uh, friends with benefits, whatever you want to call it. Straight up. I can respect that. Mm -hmm. He's a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> she She's standing true. And you were worried over here. You can you can never be too sure, man. Bro, you know. Why, man? What Tell him the truth, bro. Kira could clearly sense that Isaiah was into her, and rather than putting up with it, she shut that down. She nipped it in the butt before placing herself in a questionable predicament. Anybody could take get their girl taken any given day. I don't care how cool you think you are. You always gonna be somebody better, but it's a you want to stay true to who you yeah, are. Exactly. Rather, mindset is everything. <laughs> That's now we have slap. corny goldfish on there, <laughs> thinking it's a shark. Yeah, it's a big difference. It's, it's like cottage, though. You know, you gotta feel like a shark sometimes. You can feel like it, but then you get in the real world, you're you not no shark, man. <laughs> not even a dolphin. You know what I mean? Now I'm just gonna say it because I know some of you are thinking it. I feel like if Isaiah hadn't pushed it and just stuck to the dinner, we could have moved on to a phase two. For a second, I thought we had a phase two there, bro. Not that I wanted one. Hey, I'm, I'm just saying. He accepted the dinner. I was like, ah, he was kind of flirting. He accepted the dinner, but he was. Solid. She nah, solid. Bro. Maybe the outcome would She got a guilty, she had this last second guilty conscience, bro. She just remembered, like, hey, like, damn, like, do I really want to cheat on my boyfriend for a dude that has a messed up ankle? I don't know if he's going to be able to even perform in bed and stuff. Pause. Should have been said pause by that. We, you guys, we're, we're all mature. But all just aside, dog, like, that's my thing, bro. I wanted to really see the the, the Ulias dude, because they said that, like, they felt like she was feeling him a little bit more. Like, what if somebody wasn't injured talking to her? Different with the would have been a involved, different outcome. I'm willing to bet that Kira would have still brought up her boyfriend and established her boundaries. I asked her this earlier. Do you want to go downstairs and tell her this was the test? Or do you want to play this entire thing off as if it were real? Because if I can go back downstairs, <laughs> continue the photo shoot, we will pay her for being here. Uh huh. And that's that. I think I think we should go down there. I think we should go down there. You think she, she was true to me, like I said, so. I gotta be true to her. Okay, cool. She can't stay mad at me for too long. <laughs> it's hey. come out of nowhere, bro. What? What's up, love? What are you? What are you doing? Nervous laughter. So look, I gotta come clean to you about something. Um. 
I set all this up. This was a loyalty test. I know it sounds crazy. Um, I had the guys help me here. Um, just wanted to see how you act if you were going to fold under pressure, like, you know what I'm saying? So they helped me out and set it up. But you pass the test, and I know it's stupid. So, so to kind of explain what he's saying, this entire thing is basically just a test, like none of it is real. So this home is actually a rental. Isaiah doesn't really live here. Isaiah's foot is actually not hurt. He's just pretending that it is. And the shirt you're wearing is not for his clothing line. He actually doesn't have one. So. We're still gonna pay you for your time and for being here and all that stuff, so you'll still get paid for that, but the modeling shoot essentially was not real. We literally just made this entire scenario up just to see if you would go on a date with Isaiah or not. And you didn't, you turned him down, you said no. I had no doubts, but you know, I just had had to make sure, and I know you're probably like hot right now, but like. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta see, you know what I'm saying? So. I, when I'm at the studio, you be texting me, asking who are there and everything and stuff. That's the thing, like. Oh, camera. Uh, look. Can we, like, talk about this, like, without. Yeah, dude, we could shut off the cameras and all that stuff. You guys can talk out front. You guys can talk out back. Like, you guys can literally, like, take your space, take your time. Dude. We, we won't follow you guys or record you guys. Come on, let's, let's chat real quick. Like, without the cameras, though. They, 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 gonna... it's, it's cool. We... Okay. Yeah, she knows she fucked up. See, that sound of yes, guilty conscience. Why you want to just walk out of nowhere, bro? You know what I'm saying? She knows that she said a couple of things she shouldn't have said. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I may sound nitpicky and picky, bro, but this is a fail, bro. Even though she didn't go through with the dinner and the drinks and everything like that, my thing is that she only said that because she had a guilty conscience and she wanted to weigh her cards all right. Do I go and risk cheating on my man and stuff? And sacrificing all these damn time that we put in together with somebody that's injured. You know, so that's what it's coming down to. Look, I'm already knowing how you about to act. Chill, like. Chill, can you be right up Chill. I don't know if I should be looking or not. Should we give them the privacy? Do you not understand like, how embarrassing this is? They don't even know you. These okay, people don't know you? Our relationship is not their business. That's true. If it's you just... didn't trust me, you should have talked to me. I do trust you. Don't even... Nah, that's that manipulation, bro. That's that manipulation. Like, what? The fact... See, you guys really need to pay attention to body language, bro. Anytime you feel like your girl's doing some BS, and let's say, like, they out of town or something, and you call them, like, you on FaceTime, bro, and you just start... I had... Unfortunately, I've, I've been traumatized with this before, so hear me out. That's why I'm explaining it to you, bro. Like... Such and such, bro, like, in the past, bro, I remember went out on vacay and shit, and, like, I was, like, wondering why she she took a minute not to call me, you feel me, like, at the time she said she was going to call me around. Basically, long story short, she calls me about, like, two and a half hours later and stuff, and mind you, she's on vacation and everything, you know what I'm saying, in Cabo um, and stuff, um, and basically, bro, like, dog, long story short, like, she was sitting up on the phone, like, as soon as I call her, I'm, like, my first words, I said, what took you so long to call Instantly just starts to cry. And then, like, long story short, just, just basically saying that, like, it was just her and, like, her friend that was just basically getting, like, an argument and stuff like that. Um, but why is your friend making you argue with her friend, by the way, was a girl. And it, it was true because they went on a trip together and stuff. But that doesn't matter. But, like, why are you crying just because, like, you're a little bit late on the phone call or you missed calling? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that serious. Obviously, you're on vacation. Have fun. You feel me? Like, you're going to forget about a couple of things. But you feel me? Long story short... You know, this person was, you know, doing something that they wasn't supposed to do. And I'm not really trying to talk about it because, uh, yeah, uh, that's another topic for another day. Uh, but, bro, this is just a guilty conscience right here, dog. Like, nobody, should, why is she crying? I understand being a little bit irritated. Like, hey, why the fuck are there's like seven cameras here? Like, why did you need to walk out of the room like this and just start crying and do making a scene saying, oh, like, Nah, man, it's not sitting right with me, bro. If you're not seeing everything that I'm talking about in this vid, bro, you're going to get your heart broken one day, bro. You're going to get your heart broken really bad one day. It's going to take you a minute to pick yourself up. Catch it before it can catch you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't start don't. that I don't trust you or nothing like that. I do trust you. Uh-huh. Look. Do you understand that, like, I came here thinking I was working a job? And you're still getting paid for it, so what's the issue? I just had to see. That's I'm, it. I'm, I'm going. All right. <laughs> Guiltiness, guiltiness. There's no reason for her to be mad. Oh, are you, you mad for? You? You're getting paid still for your time. What are you getting mad for? This is everything right here that backs up everything that I'm talking about, bro. Keep the shirt. What are you getting mad for? You, you a... quote unquote pass. I don't think you pass. They think you pass. What are you so mad for? 
a little hot right now. I'm gonna take her. She loves food. I'm gonna get her some sushi. She's gonna be cool later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, I have nothing don't, to say, don't man. Don't stress it. Yo, thanks. Say, I appreciate everybody. Bro, I feel bad you know what for I'm saying? Too, Sergio, thanks, man, hey, again. Even though Kira got upset, I still think it was best for her to know it was a test. We're, we're, again, we're going to still pay you for your time, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, you can have my uh, email, so you can just... Like, More than anything, I think the cameras overwhelmed her. But I agree with Kai. I think she'll eventually get over it. Yeah, they'll talk it over. She seems very uh, reasonable. I can see where she's coming from. I can see kind of where he's coming from, too, though. It's a double-edged sword. Sushi ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, one of the very questionable UDY episodes. Um, she 100% failed. I still stand by that, and there's nothing else I think we need to like, you know, sit up here and argue about.